welcome students today we are going to start a new chapter from the history that is french revolution so it is an important chapter and if i have to say something about french revolution then then it is an important landmark in the history of europe and the world so it is also important because it inspired the countries around the globe with an ideas of liberty equality and fraternity and it also arose the feeling of nationalism in the minds and hearts of the people around the world so this is why the french revolution is one of the most important revolution in the history of the world so let's get started with our chapter french revolution and french revolution all starts with the bourbon family so in 1774 Seventy-four. What happened? The Louis XVI from the Bourbon family ascended the throne, and when he ascended the throne, he was just twenty years old. And at the same time, he also got up, married with a girl named Maria. She was from Austria, and this Louis XVI, when he ascended the throne, uh, the French treasure was almost empty. okay the french government that time was facing a lot of problem and they don't have uh, money in their hand so due to this what happened the list 16 had to impose lot of taxes on the common people so due to imposing of lot of taxes on the common people the revolution started okay now we will learn the various reason behind the starting of the french revolution so number one is the war so french people uh, they used to love fighting and they used to spend lot of money in wars that is number one reason why the french treasure was empty okay so number two is the palace of versailles so the there was a very beautiful palace that time in the place called uh, versailles in france so to maintain that balance only they had to uh, they had to expend a lot of money so the second reason is that okay so number 3 is the french biggest enemy was uh, uh britain so uh, so that time what happened this french held 13 uh, colonies who, which was under the control of britain to get independent so they help these certain uh, countries to get independent so in that also they spend lot of money so that was the third reason behind the uh, emptying of the uh, treasure of france government okay number fourth is now the king uh, what happened at as i already told the french treasure was almost empty now the king he started borrowing money from the money lenders and this money lenders they used to charge a high rate of interest okay so uh, due to uh, so many wars during that time what happened the, it became very difficult for the king to repay that loan okay so uh, because of high rate of interest it became very difficult for the king to repay the loan so the interest be, uh, further kept adding so uh, all this were the reason behind the uh why the french treasure got emptied during that time so this also created a lot of problem to the king and he decided to impose tax on the common people so because of high rate of uh, uh, uh because of increase of tax in to the common people what happened this common people got frustrated and they started a revolt against the king okay now we move on to the society of france the society of france during that time was divided into three state that is first state second state and third state first state so in the first state the the clergy or the group of people who invested with special function in church belong to the first state so those people who had special function in church belong to the first state and and they enjoyed certain privileges like they don't have to pay the taxes okay next is second state the second state consisted of rich aristocratic people of the state 
they also enjoy the privilege of exemption from paying tax so the second class people also they don't have to pay the tax okay now we move on to the third state the third state it consisted of rest of the population like businessmen merchants courts official lawyer peasants artisans and landless labor etc so these are the only group of people that had to pay the tax during that time and they had to pay both the taxes that is direct tax which is called taili and the indirect tax also they had to pay so direct tax they have to pay to the king and indirect tax they had to pay to the first class people and the second class people okay next we move on to struggle to survive the french during that time had 90% of population as from farmers okay and they didn't had their own land so the farmers during that time they didn't had their own land and the 90% of the populations are farmer so 60% of the land were with the nobility clergy and landlords so 60% of the land were under the control of nobility clergy and the land lords okay so this is the reason why they had to pay the tax to the, like the tax like both direct tax and indirect tax direct tax direct to the king they had to pay and the indirect tax they had to pay to the nobility clergy and the landlords okay so so in 1715 what happened the population of the france was 23 million but in 1789 the population increased and it became 28 million so this rapid increase of population increase in demand demand of food food grains okay and then this was and there was insufficient production to meet the needs of large population so the price of the bread increased okay so what happened uh, during this time uh, during this time what happened uh, this uh, the population of the france increased and the demand of the food grains were insufficient to meet the needs of the large population so the price of the bread increased uh, but the wages of the worker remained the same okay so there was the rise in price of the food grains but the wages of the workers remained the same and because of this the situation became worse okay for the people and and again the situation became more worse due to the bad weather condition so during that time only there the situation became more worse due to the bad weather condition which led to the famine and this created the subsistence crisis okay so this created subsistence crisis for the for the people of france that means the basic uh, needs of the people were in danger so because of that so many people died okay so in 14 july 1789 this is the reason why there was the protest against the king and the people the common people revolted against the king okay next is emergence of middle class so in the 18th century what happened the new social group emerged who were known as the middle class and they had become rich by expanding of overseas trade and manufacturing good and during that time only the philosopher like john locke okay jean jacques they were from middle class they are the middle class people and they played a major role in spreading the revolt in the other parts of the country with their ideas okay and they spread the ideas of freedom equal law and opportunity for all in the different parts of the country so here are some ideas of the philosopher so first is john locke in his two treatises of government criticize the concept of divine and absolute right of the king okay so john locke said that there should there should not be an absolute right of the king okay next is 
Rosescu, in his book, The Social Contract, proposed the form of government based on the social contract between the people and the representatives. So he said that the government should be formed with the people representatives. Okay. Next is Montesquieu, in his uh, Spirit of Law, stressed the concept of separation of power between legislative, executive and judiciary. So Montes Montesquieu said that there should be a separation of power in the government between the legislative, executive and judiciary. Okay. So this uh, uh, name of the books you have to remember and uh, later on it might come in one marks question okay very important with the help of this philosopher their ideas spread through the books and newspaper all over the country and encourage the people to protest against the king okay next important topic is outbreak of the revolt so the power of increasing tax on the common people was not only in the hands of king so if he had to impose taxes on the people, common people, then he had to consult with the first state people and the second state people, that is clergies and nobilities. Okay, so, so uh, what happened? Uh, on 5th May 1789, the king called an assembly, okay, and of the state general and 300 members from first state and the 300 members from second state and 600 members from third state is uh, state uh, attended the meeting okay and and there was no entry and there was no entry for the farmer artist and the female female person okay in the meeting okay although only the first state people, second state people were allowed to sit in the meeting and the third state people were had to stand uh, in, in the meeting. So they were a little bit discriminated out there. So so uh, what happened? They, uh, this king called an assembly and all the people from uh, 300 people from first, uh, first state uh, uh, first state and 300 people from uh, second state and 600 people from third state attended the meeting and um, in the meeting the members of third state demanded actually those third state people were the common people and they wanted certain change in the constitution they wanted certain change in the uh, in the form of government during that time okay uh, and the member of third state demanded that the voting should be conducted by taking assembly as a whole so they demanded that uh, this would be a voting uh, voting and the and the election should be conducted in such a way that uh, the members of all the assembly from the first state second state and the third state had uh, should be allowed to vote okay but what happened the king denied and the third state walked out of the meeting so that time what happened the king denied with the proposal of the that uh, the proposal that was uh, brought down by the third state and uh, and what happened the third state people they they walked out of the assembly and when the king denied with the proposal of the third state they walked out of the assembly and they started protesting against the king so on 20th june 1789 the representatives of the third state assemble in the hall of an indoor tennis court in versailles and they started uh, they started and, and they declared themselves as the national assembly okay and they also shown to draft a new constitution they also shown to draft a new constitution for them okay and the two leaders who were leading this uh, national assembly were Marabu and Abba Sahir. Okay, so they were these two people were also from noble family. But uh, looking at the condition of the people of uh, third state people, uh, third state during that time, they started leading this group of people, and they formed their own national assembly, and they also shown to draft a new constitution for this group of people okay and not for uh, this group of people only for the all people of 
France. Okay. I have already told you some of the major reason behind the start of revolt in France. So here we are going to study about some of the immediate cause of the revolt. So revolt starts at the Bastille. So due to the severe winter harvest, what happened? The har due to the severe winter, the harvest was severely affected. Okay, the crops were severely affected due to the uh, uh, very cold winter season during that time. And during that time only what happened, the uh, price of essential commodities kept on rising. So due to this, the people were uh, frustrated and they were, uh, they were so uh, the angry that on 14th July 1789, so most important date in the history of France Revolution, okay? In on 17th, uh, 14th July 1789, the agitated crowd destroyed the Bastille. So Bastille is a prison, okay? Uh, and during that time, the rumors also spread from the village to village that the uh, lords of Manor had hired a band of brigades to destroy the destroy the ripe crops, okay? So. So due to the rise in essential commodities, what happened? The people, uh, people were so frustrated and angry. So on 14th July 1789, the agitated crowd destroyed the Bastille. So Bastille was uh, the name of is a name of a prison, and this Bastille was hated by all France people. Be why? Because it symbolizes the domination of power of the king. Okay, that's why they first. This uh, group of uh, crowds of angry people, they first attacked the Bastille jail and and they uh, they killed a commander also, one of a commander also, and and released all the people who were imprisoned in jail. Okay, and second. Uh, uh, immediate cause was there was a rumor spread from village to village that uh, the nobility or the uh, clergy have sent some of the uh, brigades to destroy the ripe crops. Okay, so hearing this rumor, the peasant attacked in many areas of France. So hearing this, the villagers got angry and they the revolt started all over the uh, all over the France. Okay, the peasants looted hoarded grains and burnt documents. So the peasants looted hoarded grains and burnt documents containing records of uh, manorial dues. Okay, so due to all this, the large number of nobles moved to the neighboring. So, so, so these nobles got uh, afraid of the uh, people and they moved to some other neighboring countries. Okay, now the people of France became and angry and they were so angry that they want to end the monarchical system in the France okay and these people were so mad that they started looting burning documents destroying uh, government offices okay and uh, uh, seeing the condition of the France during that time what happened the king had to surrender at last and he made certain changes as a result of this revolt so what uh, were th such those changes we are going to study now okay so end of special privilege so seeing the power of the revolt the the louis 16 recognized the proposal of national assembly that his power would be checked by the constitution okay so here are some changes that was made by the louis 16 after that revolt okay first is first is first and second state special privilege were now ended so now the first state and the second state people had no special privilege though they also had to pay the tax okay now second is it also reduced the power of king so now it also reduced the power of the king and all the powers were ha in the hands of common people and the third changes were they were equal distribution of land among the people okay so third uh, a change is they were equal distribution of land now, the no nobilities and the clergies uh, were had no domination on these people, okay, and they were not allowed to 
take a tax from this common people and all the lands were equally distributed to all the people okay and now they had they only had to pay the direct tax to the king not an indirect tax okay so next is now the french government changed from monarchy to the constitutional monarchy so now the french government has changed from monarchical system to the constitutional constitutional monarchy so in the constitutional monarchy the 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 king there will be a king but the king had to follow certain constitutional rules okay france becomes a constitutional monarchy so in 1791 national assembly completed the draft of the constitution and the main objective was to limit the power of the monarch okay and the power were separated and assigned to the different institution like legislature executive and judiciary now the powers were divided between legislature executive and judiciary okay the laws made by the national assembly so there are certain laws that was made by national assembly during that time and those were number 1 the men who were above 20 years of age and who paid taxes equal to at least 3 days of the labor wage were given the uh, status of active citizen and they only had right to vote so the men who were above 25 years old uh, of age and who who are paying taxes uh, equal to the 3 days of labor wages are known as active citizen and they are only allowed to vote and the remaining of them that is remaining of the men and women were considered as the passive citizen and they were not allowed to vote okay number 2 is to qualify as an electoral the member had to belong to the highest tax payer so the highest tax payer only will qualify as an electoral okay and the third is the constitution begin with the uh, with the declaration of the right of man and citizen so now the constitution began with the declaration of right of man and citizen and such as the right to life freedom of speech equality before law all this were the constitutional right of the people and it were it were uh, the duty of the state to protect this right okay and after the drafting of constitution also there was still the tension going on on france why were those tension we'll study in this topic okay so the rulers of the france neighboring countries were worried by the development of france so the neighboring countries were now worried with the development of france they were worried that the monarchical system had ended in france and if if the same case will happen in their countries also then there will be a problem again so the the fear the fear of uh, uh the fear was rising on the minds of the uh kings of neighboring countries okay they made plans to send troops to put down the events taking place since 1789 so now the king of france and the other kings of neighboring countries they got united and they started making plan against the common people in france to in the to in the revolt in france they all wanted to in the revolt in france so that the other people in their countries also will not revolt against the king okay so before before they they start making plan what happened before this could happen the national assembly only declared war against prussia and australia in april 1792 okay so before they they could execute their plan uh, what happened this national assembly only they declare war against prussia and australia in april 1792 okay where thousand of volunteers join army okay and among the patriotic song and they were singing the patriotic song by them and were known as marseillaise marseillaise and composed by the poet robert d lee essel okay so uh, this thousand of volunteers now they started joining army and they started singing the patriotic song and this now 
it later became the national anthem of France. So this song later became the national anthem of France. It was sung for the first time by the volunteers from Marseilles as they marched into Paris. So now this group of volunteers joining the army, they marched into the Paris and they now 